Okay everyone, now I'm going to show you my DVD menus for Sailor Moon Crystal Set 1. And this is the, D the DVD version for disc one, and you only have the crescent moon for its icon. The episodes are Act 1, Usagi Sailor Moon, Act 2, Ami Sailor Mercury, Act 3, Rai Sailor Mars, Act 4, Masquerade Dance Party, Act 5, Makoto, Sailor Jupiter, Act 6, Tuxedo Mask, and Act 7, Mamaru Chiba, Tuxedo Mask. So that's the disc menu for disc 1 for the DVDs. These are the same episodes that are on the Blu-rays. Now I'm going to show you the setup. And the setup is basically any it's like any DVD. You get to choose the language, English or Japanese. You get to choose subtitles, on or off, signs and songs and for the subtitles as well. I do like the picture they chose for this setup menu. So that's all that you have. And so now I'll pop in disc two if you give me a minute. Now I have disc 2 in. Before it starts, I want to say disc 1 had Sailor Moon and Luna on the DVD menu. I forgot to mention that. And there's the Toei animation symbol. Disc 2 has Sailor Moon and or Usagi and Mamoru on it. And it has the crescent moon symbol for its icon, just like disc one. Episodes for this disc are Act 8, Minako Sailor V, Act 9, Serenity Princess, Act 10, Moon, Act 11, Reunion Endymion, Act 12, Enemy Queen Metalia, Act 13, Final Battle Reincarnation, and Act 14, Conclusion and Common or commencement, I believe, and then petite a strange hour. So, um, those are the rest of set one's episodes. So this covers, like I said before, all of the Dark Kingdom arc, and the setup is probably the same. Yes, that was the same. Now let's check out the extras, which I don't think you're going to get much. Oops, wrong one. Okay, I cannot see where the icon is sometimes, so it's going to take me a few minutes. There. The extras are trailer and clean opening and ending and more from Viz Media. And there's the picture they chose for that. For that menu portion. So there you go, that is the DVD menus for Sailor Moon Crystal Set 1 Limited Edition. If you are debating which ones to get, I would get the Blu-rays because they have the music and better extras. And But if you can't afford the Blu-rays, um, you can get the DVDs, except the Blu-rays have better quality and a lot more stuff. But it's the same thing. And the DVD menus, though, will not have music to them, just like the 90s limited editions. So, 
If you have any questions, please comment on the video and let me know. Bye-bye, Moonies.